Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if your custom credential providers fail to load on Windows 10. So if you're coming across this issue on your computer and you are not able to connect to a domain or a custom credential providers or are installed on your computer, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving that. And we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to go back to registry editor, you want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it, so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple, just go ahead and left click on the file tab, Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So expand the HK local machine folder by double clicking on it. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Locate the Microsoft folder, double click on that. Now do the same thing for the Windows folder. Double click on that. And now it should be a current version folder. Double click on that. Policies, again, same thing. I'm going to expand that. And now finally there should be a system folder. So now that we are under the system, we want to direct our attention over the right side. So now that we're underneath system, so before we proceed, just take note of the file path at the top of the registry editor here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under, so if you just want to take note of that, just so it's easy for you to go ahead and locate this area. If you need to rewatch the video, you can, but you can just see it right up here. And anyway, now on the right side, you want to locate something that says Disable Automatic Restart Sign-In. Right here. Go ahead and double click on that. For value data, you want to change it to 1, so delete the 0, type the number 1 as it appears on my screen. Base should be hexadecimal, select OK. Now that you've done that, you should go ahead and restart your system, and then attempt to access whatever domain or server or site you were looking to access before with your credentials, and hopefully the issue has been subsequently resolved. So. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.